Welcome to the Electronics Basics series. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon to get notifications. I'm doing a video every day, so make sure you come back again tomorrow. In today's video, we're going to look at series and parallel circuits. Now, this is relevant to resistors, capacitors, and inductors. So, I'm going to tell you quite simply, I think, how to do calculations if you've got parallel or series elements and you need to know what the total value is of that particular type of element. For example, you've got parallel resistors. You've got a bunch of resistors, I'll draw a circuit out. Let's just do three resistors, right? Let's say you've got a 47 ohm, a 100 ohm, and a 22 ohm, all in parallel. What's the total resistance? Well, for a start, the first thing I can tell you is it's going to be less than this one. Right, whichever one's the lowest is going to be less than that. I'll tell you that straight away. So if you need to take an estimate, you know it's going to be less than that. For resistors, it's also got series circuits, right, which is a bit simpler to do. Series circuit, you could have three resistors in series. And we use the same values, 47, 122 ohms. Now in this case, in a series system for resistors, you just add them together. So in this case, that total resistance there is 100 plus 47 plus 22. So that's 169 ohms. So that's the total in this case. That's easy. I'll come back to this calculation in a minute. I'll go through this other stuff first. So I'm also going to do a series capacitor and parallel capacitor setup. I'm going to draw them exactly the same way. Type of capacitor doesn't matter. Well, maybe it will, but realistically we're just going to use theoretical values here. So the actual type doesn't matter. Should we use the same values? Probably should do a 47 picofarad. We're going to use picofarad, right? 100 picofarad and 22 picofarad. Use the same values, no harm doing that. Now, in this situation, these are capacitors. So, in this, it's different to this. Now you add them together. So, this will give you this 169. So, that will equal 169 picofarad. Easy. Adding capacitors in parallel is easy. Adding resistors in parallel, not so easy. Then we'll look at inductors. So inductors in parallel. I really suck at drawing inductors, but never mind. You get the idea. Inductors, kind of a semblance of inductors, and we'll use the same values. We're going to use certainly 47 microhenry, 100 microhenry, and 22 microhenry. Now these are much like resistors. We have to do the same calculation. So remember that part seven? I did the, the capacitors and inductors video. Oh, that's not right. I said that inductors and capacitors are opposite of each other. And this is still true. So I'm going to draw series capacitance. We'll do the same values again, 47, 122. And we'll do the same for inductors. Series inductor, same values. It's going to use the same values just for simplicity. Inductors and capacitors are opposite to each other. Inductors share a lot of similarities with the resistor networks. Very similar maths involved. So in inductors, you treat them the same way as you would do a resistor. So therefore, you add them together. That gives you 169 microhenry. So we've got 169 ohms up here, 169 microhenry. So if they're in series, you add them together, same as resistors. But when you do parallels, you've got to do some maths. Capacitors are the opposite. So those are in parallel, we can add them together. In series, you have to do some maths. Now the maths are actually pretty easy. Don't forget to click like if you like the video or the video series and subscribe and click the bell icon if you're not already subscribed. Now the maths is actually universal. We can actually use the same formula for all three calculations. So we need to calculate this one here, this one here, and this one here. The maths are this. So you want the, I'm going to, normally you'd say R total or C total or L total, right? So you might do, I'll, I'll do an example for the resistance one, I'll do it up here. So 1 over R total equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 and you keep on going for as many as you have in parallel that's the resistance formula that same formula was used for series capacitors and parallel inductors exactly the same formula but you're replacing R with the type of device you're trying to measure so in this case it's R here it will be C here it will be L exactly the same formula you can work this out fairly easily with a calculator doesn't take much effort so let's turn this thing on and I shall show you. So we've got 47, 122. We use the same value in all of them. So it's 1 divided by 47 plus 1 divided by 100 plus 1 divided by 22 equals, in this case, that equals 0 
Right, so we've got that. Now this actually remembers the last answer, so it makes it easier to do. Then the resistance total is 1 divided by that answer. This means this one here, that equals 13.0325 ohms. That's enough precision. You got that? What you'll find is because you use the same values for all of these, this one here and this one here, you'll get exactly the same result. I'll show you. So capacitance, same formula. So our total is 1 divided by C1, which would be this one, 1 divided by C2, C3. Exactly the same. And so then you do 1 divided by the total, you'll get exactly the same value, except this will be 13.0325 picofarad. Now we treat it a little bit there because we use the same values. So we can just transpose it across them and it'll be done. Equally, this one here would be 13.0325 micro Henry. Um, we've cheated because we use the same values. Because the formula is the same. Therefore, it's the same result, but the type of unit is what changes. So we'll do the capacitance one. We'll do exactly the same thing again. So C1, so it's 1 divided by 47 plus 1 divided by 100 plus 1 divided by 22 equals 0 0.7673. Exact same answer because we're doing the same values. The actual type of measurement doesn't matter. 1 divided by answer. 13.0325. Alright, so yes, it's exactly the same. No difference. All we're changing is the type of unit. You got it? So all you remember, parallel resistors, series capacitance, parallel inductors. Those are the things you have to calculate. Series resistance, parallel capacitors, series inductance, you can add them together. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. So make sure you check out the playlist at the end there. One of them is for the entire Electronics for Beginners video series. So make sure you check that out and watch all the videos I'm doing on this. You should find it interesting. Bye.